Welcome to the Invasion Session 8. It is the 3rd of June 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I am playing Adair, who is an Air Genasi and a little bit of a rogue. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who is a wee gnome that likes to tinker a bit with stuff, which makes him an artificer. Hi, I'm Callum M, and I am Cognac. Both people at once. And I have a new cloak that is really two cloaks, but we won't talk about that. Good evening, my name is Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabite the Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hello, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Layuda, the Loxodon Druid, who is going into a bar. Hello, I am Callum, B, and I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos. Much loved, much despised. Much headbutted. Much headbutted, much upset. <sighs> Soon to be much drunk. Many well. Wow. Yeah, not Callum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, um, you so what does everyone remember from the last session? I got a cloak. You got two, in fact. I got a staff. You did indeed. I ordered some bolts. Mm -hmm. You did. I found a book. And by found I meant some nice librarian lady led me to it and went, there's a book. Do you remember her name? I do remember her name. Her name is... I forgot Small to write it down. Library, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know that name. I forgot to write it down was not her name. Uh, um, anybody else remember her <laughs> name? Uh, I wasn't there, so it wasn't fair for me to remember. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's my excuse, too. LDS missionary number 230. I'm just rolling, role playing the fact uh, that I don't even know. Like scrolling through chats to try and find it. Um, I did not see a name. Oh, well then. That's going to be awkward when you have to talk to her. Um, you didn't add that into the NPC list, Scott? That's shocking. No, because I was too busy RPing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can't tell if that's just like some some shots or being <laughs> being shot shot from the the the, the, the waist the hip the, uh, uh, close. Uh, my notes consist of shopping mm -hmm. dear Potter serpent robot, please hi followed by noted followed by runestad hates dragons not just king I realize that's worded as if they hate the king yeah. no the king hates dragons so does runestad apparently Grabbed by a stranger, wench crazy lady head butted mask, she must burn in her city. Mm. Um, that's that's my notes. Some escalation, not so much notes, but a manifesto. Um, yeah. Anything else anyone remembers? Um... <laughs> Ethically sourced trees. <laughs> Ethically sourced trees, yep, yeah, that's. That's a thing, yep. Mm -hmm. um, Lauda and Adir were like, ah, right, yes. We'll keep an eye on Thea. Ooh, shopping. Mm -hmm. Bo Boots, yes. We'll talk to Boots person and then, lose, uh, and then let her get abducted by some crazy witch bitch. And well, I thought it was her hats we... you were looking for because we were the ones that got distracted by the cobbler. That's what you're saying. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm still thinking about it. My bad. <laughs> I'm um, here, I swear. <laughs> um, yeah, is that everything? Fleabite stole a lot of something. I mean... Oh, yeah, we're also waiting to go to dinner with the king. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to go to dinner with the king, yeah. Oh, probably. yes, we were invited at some time. Mm -hmm. Seven. Oh, we don't... Technically, we don't know that because three of us are in a tavern about to get absolutely sloshed. Pretty sure only two of you know about the invite to dinner. Um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, Alvin and Cognac are the only two. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else to cover. I think that's pretty much everything. So let's have a look at goals, shall we? 
go. So, right. So, Adair, I see that you have a a goal here. I have started a goal. Uh, so, my acquiring a light crossbow, I've put in the back burner for now because I've redone my bolts. Mm -hmm. But I believe we might need to acquire a map or direct directions to. And I've left it blank because I can't remember the name of the the Paris. city we're going to. Paris. Wakanda. <laughs> Elephant in Wakanda. So I want to take Paris, Paris, and now Wakanda. So it was. Uh, it was... <laughs> It was Barris, B U R R U S. One night in Paris. Mm -hmm. One night in the Barry. <laughs> As in Barry in Wales. <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, sorry. So that was Barris. Barris, yes. Um, there we go. Which so, is Elephant yes, Wakanda, um, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that off the mm -hmm. goal. Yeah, that's but, fine. Yes. Um, off the record. Please. I do believe we need maps or directions. We're not sure how we're going to get there or by transport, but at least we should have information in regards to it because, you know, this time we're going by, well, we don't know how we're getting there, so this might be useful. Yeah, I think that's handy. Look, I'm kind of going to treat that goal as getting some form of plan for getting to Barris as well, like a kind of encompassing yeah, goal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Alvin? Well... This is where things get weird. So obviously, I still want to learn if Rundstad is slash was working on similar portal research as Starling. But now I have a big, massive book of um, like the Rundstad stuff in front of me. It's the book Do of I... Rune. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. So. Um. Do I try and continue down this one, or do I change the goal to try and find something in the book, or something about a book, or this book in general? I feel I'm saying book a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Well, that's what I'm saying, like, ask it. Like, obviously, for me, I want to follow on that one, because the one I've got, because I feel like I'm close to completing it with us going to dinner but i feel like if i can complete one before that then you know happy days plus book maybe the answers to that are in the book that is true what's in um, the book we don't know yet you know what, i'm just gonna <laughs> stick with what i've got go nope. roll, roll my roll my dices and stick with what i've got uh cognac I would like to make an impression as I enter the dinner. Um, I am not sure if it's only the king, man, the prince, or there's multiple people, but I'd like to still make a grand entrance. Okay. May involve cloaks. So, define what a grand entrance is to me, to Cognac, right? Because double door aragoning your way into a room isn't exactly a goal uh make an impression right so what you mean is impress the king at dinner thank you you're welcome but that's a good <laughs> <laughs> just so you know i do have a post-it note to work on which is write a guide for goals xp plus examples so far the progress on that guide is uh I think that um, book will guide will take a long time. Mm -hmm. it'll, be bigger than, it'll be bigger than a system. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be more co more complicated than the burning wheel. Yep. <laughs> but it'll be very well written. Thank you. I appreciate the confidence. I will hire the best writers to do it. Um, I'm just going to fix your... Oh well, you're not at a ruin stad dinner, so not yet. You just, you just like even if you impressed the king at the ruin stad dinner, you wouldn't have got the XP for that one. Um, okay, flea bite. Um, I think this is the the goal that I'm gonna have most in my mind. There's other things that I kind of want to do, but this is still 
Four fun to my chest focus, so I'm going to remain. Lauda. I'm gonna assume you're gonna keep yours. Like, I figured. Undecided. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> because we're in a city. And to create this new druidic focus, I believe that Lauda would want to be within nature or surrounded by nature. Mm -hmm. um, so I was considering swapping it back to the river relationship with Thea uh, for the time being whilst we are still in the confines of the city and looking to be having dinner with the king. Yeah, it's up to you, whatever one you want to pursue. So... I'm going to swap it. Sure, yeah. And You'd be really upset when uh, we basically like blitz through dinner with the king in like three minutes and then we go, <laughs> right, we're off, let's go! Yep, yeah. that's exactly what's going to happen. We're all going to be late for dinner, so what's going to happen? See ya. Acquire reasonable transport to Barus. Okay, so I'm going to be excited to see all of this uh, teamwork between you and Adair this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's okay. We've already come up with a toothpaste plan, so we can, we can totally work I on I mean, this. wait, what if we've burnt out all our good ideas before oh, the gate? Like, do you know, this is this is an issue. So we just used all of our creativity. So I need to put a moratorium on a pre-game chat. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's dangerous, man. Yeah, that, um, that could cost us a fortune. I mean, we came up with some amazing stuff earlier. This is mm. true. So roll the toothpaste box of ideas even tighter. <gasps> you're giving people ideas, dude. Jump <laughs> it. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get we'll scraping in the barrel here. Sharing our secrets. Yeah, this is going to go well. I have confidence. Should we play the game? Yes. I think we're done with goals. Um... I mean, are we playing the game, or is the game playing? <laughs> <it like nine? laughs> just a little sprinkle of both. It's not just a game, man. <laughs> it's real life, man. Indeed. Indeed. As real as my current life. Oh, dear gods. Um... That made my eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, oh, ow. Uh. What was it? What twitched? Um, I thought we were using Discord. Don't, don't, don't overthink it, Scott. Don't. Yeah. Don't. I'd like to... Uh, too much. I know, that's, that's, that's Alvin. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep, here we are. So let's get it started then, shall we? Um, Indeed. So, I think we're just going to zoom straight in on the three people heading in to a tavern. Who are talking about amazing stuff while entering the tavern. Mm -hmm. Thea's crying, um, currently, if you must know. Oh wait, why were you crying? Because the witch bitch head my mask, my mask's broken, well, cracked, and she was upset about it. Laid is respectfully um, keeping a couple of feet back and letting the uh, control her emotions by herself. Um, I'll walk in between the two, uh, but as we enter a tavern, how does the tavern look? Busy? Quiet? I mean, it's probably the afternoon, right? So, probably not that busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a few... Is there... Is there table service? Does it look like everyone's going to the bar and then sitting down? Um, uh, it's, is there waitresses running around? There are like waitresses, um, you know, running around, waiters indeed as well. But for the most part, it just seems like you find a space, you sit down, and then you go up and order things. From what you can tell. Ah. Ah. Okay. Um. Well. Um. Lady and gentlemen, shall we find ourselves a table? A nod. I think Nia. Uh, Nia? Oh, mm. six. Nia. <laughs> That's uh, when Thea dies. Um, Nia. Um, Nia. <laughs> Nia. My tabaxi sister. Um, <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, yeah, Thea just would just kind of like, you know, absentmindedly follow. Like, cool. maybe not even nod, but... 
Uh, thought you were going to say me and Todd. So yeah, I think you all head into the um, as is the tavern. You have a look around. Maybe Theo is a bit distracted by the mask. Um, mm -hmm. And for the most part, yeah, you've got like a couple of people just turn around and look at you um, in that almost Western style way. Uh, mm. But then just go back to their conversations and their lunches, right? So lunches, yeah. okay. So it's sort of three, four-ish, cool. Um, okay. Um, or like 12-ish, because lunch. Ooh, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> I, I remember you saying it was <laughs> late Breakfast afternoon, time. so I was like, um, what? <laughs> um, shall we find a seat not near the entrance where we can see who comes and goes and whatnot? And uh, yes, let's acquire some beverages. That's yeah, what we've noticed, but the time is so fluid in this world. It's, you know... Sometimes it's lunch after breakfast. Sometimes it's lunch before breakfast. You just these things happen. I just want to know if I'm going to be judged for ordering twenty shots of zambuca. I mean... Yes, but not just because of that. <laughs> um. So, let's see. Who would like to go to the bar? Or shall I get the first round? I think I can afford it. I'll um. Choose my own beverage. Hmm? Well, um, I can go up and order for us, kind of thing. Or would I'd you like rather... to um, peruse their selection. Ah, fair enough. Uh, well, then, if you're heading up, I'll stay in the seat, and can I ask you to get me a beverage? Yes. What would you like? If they have honey mead, I will take some mead. If not, I will take some sort of wine. Chilled would be preferred. And see you, dear. I think she just kind of like looks up briefly from staring at her mask and just nods and like looks back down at her mask. Hmm. Anything that. Uh, so I walk up to the bar. Uh -huh. um, I say, uh, do you have a, like a menu or a selection? Or... Nah. The, uh, the bar woman throws a towel over her shoulder. And she says, You're one of them elephants. Indeed. Oh. Is it true what they say? She just looks at you quizzically. What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> that you can drink through your trunk. Um... It wouldn't be the most pleasant experience. It's, it's uh, possible. Ah. And then um, she like points over the like over her shoulder just like the counter behind her that just has a bunch of like it's not a great selection but it's just a bunch of like similarly shaped bottles. Right, what were you after? Uh, I'll just say um, it's been uh, some centuries since I've been inclined to visit such an establishment. I believe um, back home in Barris, the favoured wine was uh, something called Allure and Dark. Don't suppose you have it? Don't suppose we do. Um, she like goes to the a couple of bottles and looks in them, like pulls the cork out with her teeth and looks into it. She's like, I mean, this one looks pretty dark. Do you have a, just just a fine red, something you recommend? I'll take a bottle. Or two. Make it two. And so was... Sure. And, uh... She kind of disappears through the back very briefly. And then comes back through um, with, like, two uh, dark green glass balls. She goes, is that everything? And, uh, three glasses of UL, please. Okay. Uh, and she sets the glass and goes... That will be two platinum, please. Uh, yeah, hand over twenty gold. Perfect. She taps it, turns into two oh. platinum, pops it away, <laughs> and then she uh, kind of smiles and she's like, "I'll be watching." 
I say nod. Uh, I say nod. I say nod. I nod, <laughs> I nod and say. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't nod. speak Baru. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, collect them. I'm assuming they might be like a tray or something. I could carry them over with, or if not, I'll take a couple trips. I uh, no, like if if you like maybe when you go, you like try and pick up. You should then just sits like a almost like a chopping board down because you can use that. Again, I nod an appreciation and pick up this tray and carry it over to the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just say, uh, should be enough to get us going. Yep. I'd like to pretend I didn't hear how much it was because yeah, wow. He asked for quite, stuff, yeah. he asked for fine wine, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I said my meat. money. I, I said meat or. A, a chilled or wine. wine. Arguably, or a chilled wine. Arguably, <laughs> meat is the finest wine. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm. That 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 is arguable. Mm -hmm. um, mm. <laughs> I think at that point, he is maybe like sort of like like kind of brushing your finger along the the sort of like crack mark and like following it and just um, almost as if she's trying to like rub it out slightly but also kind of feeling it I would like how, how it curves and stuff like that like but you know the imperfections of it how badly is it broken like is it in like two bits is that a bit out of the mask no i believe it's um just sort of like a crack essentially um was it was it above like the from like the forehead kind of down to the middle of it was it ryan mm -hmm. so yeah. Let's see. Okay. I, I dare would suggest using candle wax. Just drip it in there, let it dry, and then smooth it out. No, no, no. I think she would look at, kind of look at you, and her eyes would give that sort of like disbelieving look of like, how dare you even suggest like <laughs> fixing something that was perfect um I just just some if that was a look no that's what um that's what she's looking like <laughs> behind a mask <laughs> behind a mask behind her sad mask i believe so i just see the sad mask so i just keep looking at the broken one suggesting like maybe some candle wax uh, maybe some eggshells cracked into it like a powder to get the color back yeah i i think at the point i'd be pouring us each a glass also <laughs> for example if you ignored the fact that this is broken, see the top crack that's in it. I imagine something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's only, basically what only I without all of the bottom cracks because it's all still one piece. Mm -hmm. God, I wish this world had duct tape. I'd mm -hmm. suggest it. <laughs> Ask the, the world has magical spells called mend mending. <laughs> that's lazy. Still man. not the same. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, if you're pouring a drink, I think Thea would just kind of lift her her mask up to like her like the top of her head. Look down, just grab grab one of the glasses and just neck it, and yeah. slam it down, and just like push it like out into the middle as if to asking for another glass. <laughs> Refill. Why <laughs> does eyes widen and then? It thinks about how much that cost. <laughs> it was your choice. And, uh, and I just hand the remainder of that bottle over to Thea, um, and I use the other one for myself, and I dare. Um, I will pick up my glass, as in, and I will gesture for a toast whilst watching Thea neck that, and as for more, just kind of go, okay, whilst holding my hand up in the air. <laughs> What do you think is the uh, the need for such toast? What are what is it? Uh... Well, three friends made it to our destination. We are in touch with the royal highness kingness of the land, and we could possibly even get this land. I, I think that's a good cause for a toast. We successfully made it across the sea, got kidnapped, and yeah. shoved in front of a dickhead king. Yes. And we've completely forgotten the original quest, and um, no. somebody mentioned a trip to Barris. Adair is... and Thea, can you just roll um, perception? Yes. Completely out of the question. 
Definitely can. I can definitely try. Well. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. I don't know if that came through. Yep. He's both got your team. So um, yeah, I think instantaneously after he says "dickhead king," like there is no more sound in the bar. Every single person has stopped and is staring at your table. Some of the gentlemen have stood up at their tables. Aggressive. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I quite liked it. I have never met royalty, so I assume that's what they're all like. Mm. Nothing ever good comes out of royalty. Ooh. And then one of the guys from the table approaches your tail and says, If you have a problem with Runestad and the king, perhaps you should leave. Runestad. Oh, no, sir, no problem at all. We're, we're new here. Uh, it's a very pleasant town, and uh, we're just getting to know our way around. Hmm. And he's just staring at Lauda. I just uh, tilt my head towards Adair and say what he said. You see, sir, we are absolutely fine. There's no need for any issue. We're, we're new. Um, it's a very pleasant town. Everyone's been very friendly and kind so far. <clears throat> if there's no issue, your friend here will have no, no problem taking back what you said about our king. Will he now? Similar with the, the burlier men the tables start to walk over. So now your table's kind of surrounded by burly men. Oh, no, gentlemen, gentlemen, there's no need for this at all. I'd like to stand up and tower above them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can stand up. Yeah. And I would say my sincere apologies. I did not mean any uh, offence. And they just kind of like, you know, there's some murmuring between some of them, but like the guy that's kind of like led this charge, kind of just says, "Make sure that you respect the people and their king when you're a guest in this city." And then he walks away, and then the rest of them kind of like eventually just like, "Oh, well, are we still standing here?" Mm. And they all kind of go back to their uh, their seating. Mm -hmm. I'll sit back down and just be like interesting I'll sit back down again as well and I'll say well even more reason for first drink in centuries mm -hmm. and then somebody obviously puts the CD in of ambient tavern noises back on um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to suggest should we whisper a little quieter this time in conversation when we mention the king yeah insurrection's not ideal <laughs> <laughs> I just say quietly. I've made my point. Hmm. But the townspeople's reaction there was very interesting. I think the um, finishes off her wine. Well, you're just not even taking a sip yet. <laughs> yeah, I'll still um, wait to take a sip. <laughs> You've tanked a bottle. We've not had a sip. So I think yeah, I think she slams. I was gonna say I think that's two glasses, don't she? Is so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Still has the rest of the bottle, or are you just drinking all that? I'm just drinking out of the bottle now. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. The last was just um, interfering. <laughs> it was just an extra step, you know. Um, you probably yeah, get about so five can... glasses out of a bottle, by the way. Okay. So three, four, five. So maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe two, two or two-ish glasses, three-ish glasses. Think that Lyuda would pick up the glass, give it a little swirl, and... Um, I was going to say hold up his nose, but he's going to try to... Yeah. <laughs> um, Just drop your trunk in it. <laughs> how, how long is my trunk? That's a good question. Uh, uh, size doesn't matter. It's just what you do with it. <laughs> 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 I'm just sort of thinking, like, I want to, I want to smell it, but then I have to hold it at arm's length. You probably can just... No, like, you're... It's, you know, prehensile, right? You can, mm -hmm. you can move it. I think from that point then we get the, the shot of like from behind the bar 
and like the woman's leaning into only like the male waiters and she's like, like he's doing it. Get <laughs> <laughs> me, and then I pour some of it into my mouth. And it just clicks back. I was, see, I told you they can't drink through their trunks. <laughs> and so she, there's an exchange of coins. She, and she just hits him with the uh, the kind of towel that she's got over on her shoulder. <laughs> and he goes off to go glass collect again. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah, I, th- I think um, I think Thea watches like you did um, drinking because um, I don't think she's ever well, she's not seen him drink ever. Um, After a year and some, oh, well, alcohol, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just that he's, so, a, he's <laughs> a drought. <laughs> I think on the first sip, there'd be a slight wince, and then afterwards, it's more relaxed. It is, um, it is damn fine wine as well. Mm. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Nah. Um, I've taken be. a light, a light smell, and then taking a couple of sips just to enjoy, but I'll mainly be. Leaning back a wee bit, looking at the crowd now to make sure they have, in fact, settled back down. You I know, think just being when empty. you look around, you can definitely see one or two, like, still mm-hmm. paying attention to you guys, right? Maybe even not necessarily like they're in hearing range, but just they're looking your direction. Um, it's almost as if they're constantly rolling insight checks. Um, mm. But at the same time, who knows such things? Um, unless I was in the game. But yeah. Mm-hmm. You're definitely still yeah. being watched, but you're not necessarily being listened to specifically, especially if you speak quietly. Um, and yeah, I believe we'd I'd be speaking quietly from now on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to um, the guys and Thea. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and again, like the place doesn't have any other races. Like it is, all seems to be human centric, right? Like it's you've not seen. Yeah, so we're kind of used other to race. being stared at. Yeah, I mean, that, that isn't odd for you guys, especially since you are all the uniques in Little Bellinor, mm-hmm. but at least Little Bellinor did have, like, a mixed bag of people as well, you know? I feel like Lyudu would completely ignore anybody that, like, stares at him because of his race, more sort of denouncing his own race. I think for the most part, though, you haven't necessarily experienced any racism as such mm-hmm. in the world. It's more just been a case of, oh, you're new and interesting, or you're, you're unique looking. Right, it's yeah. there's a definitely. I mean, in the world in general, not just Runestad, um, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, for the most part, people are just curious about what you are yeah. more than judging. I'll be used to it. Yeah, yeah. especially <laughs> like not to say that there wouldn't have been somebody in Little Belnor maybe at some point who does have a grudge against different people. Right, they, mm-hmm. those people definitely do exist, but at the same time, yeah, I think because there's rumours of Barris, because nobody actually knows a lot of truth about it. You obviously would probably have been looked at more as a wonder than like judgment, right? Um, whereas like the Janassi and stuff, um, there's maybe some old people that maybe think, well, they fucked up back in the day, so mm-hmm. you know they have caused whatever problems we have nowadays. Um, but then at the same time, Racist. maybe some of them go, yeah, can't wait to like you know, will we ever see them in their glory days again, right? Um, yeah. How long ago was the Janassi a pot? To like, or the common race, like a long, long time ago, like longer than three hundred and seventy-two years. Yes, we're okay. talking thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. people used to be strong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> used to be like in charge of everything, pretty much. I am. God, that's the British Empire. <laughs> oh no! Sorry. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Um, but like it's not far um, off that, right? It just kind of collapsed inwards, sadly. Mm-hmm. I, um, like the Roman yeah. Empire. <laughs> All good things come to oh, an yeah. end <laughs> with knives. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Um, oh, no, carry on. But I was just gonna kind of say, like, after a couple of moments, like once things had settled back down, I would have lent and in, leaned into Lyoda and. Can I ask, like, they seem to take great offence when you insulted their kingship, Lord Man, Royal Guy, and <laughs> you write that one down. <laughs> and I feel we need to learn more about why they took such a aggressive move to you. When didn't the kingship, Lord Man, Lord Guy, say he would give us this 
place if we got him an egg or destroyed the egg? I just hope that they'd show me the same loyalty once I am the ruler of this city. Hmm. But shouldn't we find out more, or...? Thea would stand up. <laughs> Wait, I regret everything. I look up at Thea. Uh, and she walks over to the bar. Mm -hmm. And she asks for wine. I would uh, pick up Thea's bottle and give it a shake and notice it empty, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's probably like, you know, the, the customary like little dribble that goes tick -tick, bloop, 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 bloop. I think I'd pour that dribble into my glass, making sure I don't waste any. Yeah, waste expensive, one. right? Expensive liquid. <laughs> um, yeah, like you get up there and um, maybe like the, like, what well, seems like the bar owner, maybe she's a bit busy, so you get one of the kind of the waiters um, that we mm -hmm. see in the mini cutscene. Um, and he kind of looks at you and he says, can I help you? And he doesn't say, like, sir or ma'am or anything. He just kind of leaves that hanging. Yep. And um, I think, like, her mask is on, like, the top of her head. So you definitely Oh, sorry. See no, the... Have you put it up then? Because yeah, I know you were drinking, but I didn't know how you were handling that. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know if I actually said that. I think I did. But, um, yeah, she put it onto, the, like, the top of her head. If you said it, I didn't hear it. Um, okay. <laughs> I might not. In that case, then, he'll, he'll say, I heard it. He'll, he'll say, you know, ma'am. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, but like you'd definitely be able to see that, um, you know, she's her face is the face of someone who has been crying a lot, um, and she would just say, "Wine, wine, please." <clears throat> I can't know. It goes, "Are you are you in the theater?" Um, I think she would sit down and go. I have dabbled. just just what on the floor. Yeah. Okay. I have dabbled and she'll just like like wipe like her, her cheek and try and get rid of some of the um It kinda leans juiness. over the um leans over the bar looking down at you. Um and then he's like Oh, um I've I've not cleaned that part of the floor yet, miss, so it's maybe a bit dirty, but here and I like you just hand you his like rag of fabric I think she'll stand up and just take it and um, just nods like like half bow half bow half nod mm -hmm. um, so like a courtesy <laughs> yeah and uh, he's like um what, what kind of wine are you after just cheapest strongest so those Please. are those are two different categories, I'm afraid. I, um... Right, how much money does the have? <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> um, cheapest. Three waters, please. <laughs> and she'll sniff. And you can get like a pitcher of common wine for two silver pieces if you wanted. Okay, we'll take three pitchers. Okay. To hand over your six bricks. silver. My six silver. Oh heck! Right. Yep. Put that into that. Silver. Would we notice three pictures being placed on the bar? I I don't know. It depends if you were looking at the. It's not exactly hard to see this if you were. Yeah. Um, it probably would have been like giving a, a slight eye on there. And as soon as the uh, the pictures land on the bar, I'd say, it "Looks like we've got a bit of catching up to do." Oh my! Have you deducted your booze money, Sia? Um, yeah. So, how much was it again? Sorry. It was two. It's in the Discord. Six silver. Six silver. Six silver. Cool. So I presented it. Later, finished his right. glass. Yep. Hastily, but not downing it like the other did, mm. and then pour another one. Okay. I have deducted my booze money. Excellent. Good, good. Um, yeah, I. So as you like, pick up one of the pictures. Like, let me get the other two for you. I, she just says thank you. I, he picks them up and brings them over with you, and she heads back to the table. Yep. And I guess she kind of like pops. Like, um, I think she just sits down in her seat with the picture and ponks it in front of her. Mm -hmm. And like another two gets sat down. 
And he's like, well, uh, you know, enjoy, um, miss. And then kind of just nods each to, like, Adair and Louder and then just goes back to the bar. I would thank him. Oh, yeah. Like, he probably just, like, does a quick, polite smile when you thank him. Mm. Yeah. I think maybe if he said, when he said missed, I think she would just look at him and say, Thea. And then, like, slowly pour a glass. I think he just. From her picture. <laughs> if you say Thea to him, you'll just quickly, like, nod to a deer and then Lauda and then quickly leave the table. Um, and then, <laughs> as, as usual, start pouring yourself some cheaper wine. And, well, at least Thea well, does. I'm still in my first glass. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah, all you're getting. I was going to say, I think the first glass of that fancy wine's all you might be getting there, dear to be honest, given the speed of the rest of the party. But the uh, the guy goes back behind the bar, and then uh, the uh, the owner lady like hands him something to clean, and he goes to like reach for his shoulder and realizes his rag's gone, and then she just like laughs once, and then just hits him with hers, uh, and gives, <laughs> him, <laughs> gives it to him, and then uh, she just goes away shaking her head, laughing. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, I'm adding that rag to my inventory um, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know she's an alcoholic <laughs> um, Armin's rag Meanwhile though, right, so we'll fade out from you guys having obviously a bit of a mm -hmm. chat um, We go all the way over to the library And we've just got Alvin close up in Alvin's eyes with this book reflected in it and as it just <laughs> says backwards you know the uh, the book of Von Rune um, I would be like standing like looking over this just like oh mama um, and I shall uh, open the book uh, give me a wisdom save. Save. A wisdom save. Yep. Um. Bo -bo -bo -do. I have to find my character sheet open. It would. Yes. <laughs> um, Handy. I'm like looking around trying to find because I normally have. Where's it the wisdom save button? <laughs> <laughs> I normally have it minimized in the corner, but I've not got that. Um. Boop. Mm. Nice. So, um, are is, we gonna just? If I, 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 uh, is this against magic? Um, it is, yes. Right, because I should have rolled advantage because of that. Probably should ask that first. That's fine. Yeah, just roll again. Just roll again. Yeah, because that's like a a condition, so you don't get, <laughs> oh, right, you don't really yeah, get a choice. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the. It's the first one we're taking anyway. It's the sixteen. Yeah. So, so at this point, you as soon as you touch it, there's like a almost like a static shock that hits you, um, and in that moment, you get a choice to like buy in or pull back. Um. Yeah. So is it like touch so the book? It... There's a spark yeah. of magic. You have the oh, choice instantaneously um... to think. I'm going to go with this or I'm going to pull back from this. Yeah, is it like a sore thing or is it like when you have your hand up against TV static? It is like you get a static shock from something. Alright, cool. Uh, fuck it, I'll buy it. Yeah, cool. Um, Take 10 damage. <laughs> no, no. I, you find yourself um, instantly surrounded by like hundreds of thousands of runes floating that seem to make up the walls. Can I read any of it? Uh, no. It all seems to be moving too quickly, right? But you're standing in this, again, s some strange, like, discoloured floor. Um, like, kind of off colour. Uh, you... The runes, like, as far fast as they're moving around you as well, they start to take, like, the form of the room that you were just in. And it all mm. kind of, like resettles back and then like the floor kind of shimmers and runes rise up and you see Richter Von Rune standing in front of you. Mm. 
I would just be like looking around, like obviously, so like my head's just been spinning by seeing all these things flying around, and then I'll just kind of look up at this figure, and then I was like, oh, so you're here too. You have come seeking knowledge from the Book of Von Ruin. What do you wish to know? Like, hmm. So, I take it that you're not the real Von Ruin, but just his image projected through a book as a means of navigation? Your ability to read this book does not underlie your intelligence. You are correct. And I'd be like, like, kind of like smug little look. I'm like, hmm. Well, I would look for, I am looking for information for a no, fuck, sorry. Um, I am looking for any information that you would have ha had on research so, uh, with portals that Starling was doing, or any similar stuff that anyone in Runestad was completing. Define Starling. And I'm like. Uh, and like instantly like running through my head is like was she my mother could it have been my mother it's like she and antonia starling she was the um she was a researcher at eldritha university dot 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 and like you just kind of see my head get into that uh you know b before it blew up and then a bunch of runes appear next to him and it takes the form of um antonia starling and like his voice comes out of her and says, Is this form more suitable for an interface? And I just kind of like see it and I'm like, Um, I'd rather not. Please, can you not do that? That's creeping me out. Please stop it. No, 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 no. And he just keeps repeating no until, uh, mm hmm. Yeah, like it, she vanishes when you yeah, pretty cool. much imply like it needs to go away. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so as it vanishes, you just see like Alvin just go, "Whew!" Was not ready to meet her right now. <laughs> yep. And he says, "What is it you wish to know specifically regarding Antonia Starling?" Was anyone in Rinstad? following up on her research or doing any similar type of research into portals. Do you mean beyond Antonia Starling herself? Yes? Only King Richter von Ruhn. Hmm. Do you have the? Do you have any notes on what he was uh, on the research he was doing? That information is unavailable. Hmm. How would I make it available? You would ask the one person in control of it. That being Mister Von Runking. King Richter von Roon. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I said. Uh, well, I'm here then. What's his deal with dragons? He doesn't like their eggs. Clarify. And you just kind of see Tank like scratching his beard, kind of being like, um. Aside the obvious, why would he want us to get the egg thing that is underneath virus and destroy it? And then there's like a pause. Red dragons used to plague this land. Hmm. Red dragons are responsible for the death of Cynthia Von Roon. 
Richter's wanted... mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, that answers that question. Mm. And then goes on to say, uh, Runestad was rebuilt after the destruction wrought by red dragons. Understandable that he doesn't want to see them returned. Why would Barris have an egg or a red dragon? Unknown. And you just kind of see like a shiver go up at like Alvin Spines and he's just like, oh, mystery. Hmm. Relations like between the Baru and the Von Runes are strained at best. Uh, and like when he says that, Alvin just kind of like, you know, that kind of elbow nudge towards him and goes, ah, my relationship with Brew is pretty strained as well. <laughs> oh. Clarify. I get drunk easy. I'm quite small. Doesn't take a lot. You are of average height for gnomes. Yep. But sadly, a pint's a pint. There's just like no response at that point. <laughs> um, there's like Alvin quickly realising, okay, this thing did not get built with humour. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> <"I'm below." laughs> um, uh, IRL guys, is there anything that you could think that I should maybe be asking this thing I mean are we allowed to say it because we're not technically there seems meta because no, you aren't acting I mean, on it you can uh, mm. you as people can tell mm. Scott as a person what you think, I mean, think you have could think goal, of right? cool so I'm going to say this king lordship man has mummy issues yeah, so, so far, what I've worked out is he was definitely looking into the portal stuff. His mom got killed by dragons, which yep. is why he wants this egg destroyed, because he's like, yo, that thing hatches, we all fucked. Mm -hmm. Again. So, mm. last week, your learn if Rinstad was working, is slash was working on similar portal research as Starling. Clearly, it wasn't enough to complete the goal. Mm -hmm. So, there could be possibly more questions asked around that. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't have access to the note, you know, because I found out he was working on it directly. Mm -hmm. So, now I know who to talk to about that. Okay. For sure. Because originally, I was going to be like, right, I was going to go to the library to see if there was any papers on it. Hmm. Then I was going to see if, like, right, okay, wait. At dinner, I was going to talk to him about who actually was doing it. Now I know it's him, so okay. Um, so that's good. Um, was he implying that you're the lassie you worked for and killed and all that jazz? Was she there as well at some point? Hmm. It wasn't implied. Oh, it was yeah. actually it was stated when you met the king as well. Yeah, I was going to say mm -hmm. I mean, that was stated, but whether or not they two actually worked to, on together, the, together. I mean, that might be important ish. Mm -hmm. Turns out they had a romantic. You're the love child of both of them. I hope not, because then my parents wouldn't be happy. Then you'd be royalty. Oh my god! Alvin von Winstad does have a good ring to it. I mean, it's fun, it's fun <laughs> rune, but yeah, okay. <laughs> He's a royalty, you can change it to whatever he wants. Apparently so, yeah. Just right, add that to his that. many goddamn names that he has yep. so far. Yep. Um, right. Uh, I will kind of, after pondering for a little while, Alvin looks up in the role. When it came to the portal research where the king and uh, sorry just struck but uh, were the king and Antonio working together Antonio Starling arrived in 
rune stand, and it gives you the date that would correspond with when King Von Rune had said she turned up. Which, as we know, was obviously before she exploded, right? Um, Kaboom! Yep, so that'd be over two years ago now, right? Um, and then, so it says, uh, you know, she arrived in Runestad at X date and then proceeded to discuss her research with King Von Roon. However, further information is unavailable. When did Von Roon's mum die? Well, I, I was going to just like, oh, I'll kind of tie them together. Um, what was the king's interest in the research? The research proved to be a risk to the safety of those in Runestad. I take it this was new Runestad. Yes. Hmm. When was it that the king's mother died? And then it says a uh, thirty-five years ago. Yeah. Hmm. That works for me. Hmm. So I would have been alive for when Rinstad got trampled. Mm. Can I roll history to see if I would know of that? I mean, I think I would. I mean, it'd probably be Roll history, big. we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, I'll say it's a 15 nope. is a DC. What does I get? A uh, uh, 2. There you go. Uh. So I think with that, you'll know enough that red dragons were wiped out then. Do I know what wiped them out? No. Okay. But you definitely know red dragons kind of claimed that part of the world, um, despite the people that tried to live there, obviously. Um, yeah. And yeah, there was a big big calamity and the red dragons were no more right um i think i'll give no. you and like you've, you've made it difficult there as well maybe you remember that obviously cynthia von Roon was the you know queen of the country that is valeria oh yeah yeah so okay, you'll know that um, yeah, I kind of assumed that. <laughs> um, right, um, so I will um, ask him as I. So I know of a calamity that it made the red dragons extinct. What caused said calamity? King of Oinrun. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I just like looks up, he's like, King Von Rune has the power to eradicate dragons? Which king? I think that sounds more like a fucking Nazgul whispering the mm. witch king than, <laughs> than the question that is which Von Rune king um, <laughs> which is um, oh funny. I thought you meant witch king oh right okay I had no idea but this is the interpretation <laughs> I've taken from it um, I think witch it as a witch king yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I was like oh like, like my little witch but the witch <laughs> bitch is the old witch king Baggins <laughs> But yeah, so um, you say the king has the power to eradicate dragons and then mm. the 
the image you're looking at says it would seem so given that he is responsible for removing them as a threat to Runestad. How was it he removed them, as you say? Information unavailable. Let me guess. King only has that information. Yes. Hmm. Can I just quickly ask, see in this world, are red dragons known as wild creatures or do did they hold intelligence or I know like next to nothing. I don't know if it'd be general knowledge or Why do you mean Arcana? Ooh. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> give me a wee Arcana, I'll give you some info on that one. Uh, Maybe. Depends on your role. Open. Oh wow, okay, I have zero mm. on that, so skittish. I, I think you know enough to know that they, um, they're they intelligent creatures. I, they're the only kind of dragon there has really ever been. I, um, mm-hmm. Are the red dragons. And they... Yeah. Not particularly nice. So aggressive, but territorial? Yeah. Very much, very much territorial. They didn't ever really seem to bug anywhere else, right? Like, for example, the Baru never had any problems with red dragons. Um, yeah, yeah, the Baru are on the red dragon side, they're trying to take it back. Oh! oh. But then it's yeah. also the fact that the, the Baru are also super defensive in nature, right? So they built themselves a massive protected city. Maybe it's because of the red dragons existed, right? Um, but then, mm. like, this place seemed to suffer at the hands of red dragons, so... Who knows? Well, they um, did invade the red dragon land, so... Mm. Oh, Does... If my guy had a beard, he'd be stroking it now. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I am... Um... But yeah, uh, anything else you want to ask? Hollow Me, or Greg... Me or Gregor? You? All right. Um... Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Hmm. Um, ways to complete goal. <laughs> <laughs> His um, target isn't the game. His target mm, is the goal. Why? <laughs> is the ask it? Um, how do I complete my goal? <laughs> oh, good shot. <laughs> um. <laughs> Information unavailable. Um, Try again uh, later. Programming <laughs> this thing's terrible. I am going the star to say yes. <laughs> I got to ask, yeah? Yeah, we... Me and my colleagues have been tasked with obtaining the dragon egg in Barris. What? How would we find its location. Clarify. Do you know where the dragon egg would be hidden in Paris? And uh, I think you get like an image of Barris like nestled in the mountains um, that comes up and it says um, most likely location would be buried beneath the ruling chamber of Barris where the Baru keep their relics. Is there an easy way into such room? B. Baru. Any Baru? I'm really resisting the phrase to say any Baru will do. Just so you know, <laughs> just oh really resisting that phrase. Um, it says, uh, The Baru can come and go as they please within their own city. Little else is known. For more information on this, you may seek the Baru. A Baru right. architect? A famous one who designed mm. the city? Like, is there any info on that, Scott? 
Who was it that designed the city? The city has stood for at least a thousand years and information on its design is unavailable. Hmm. Well, Somebody um, may have lived there. But who could it be? <laughs> Ooh, just a ghost of life that floats by. <laughs> Ooh, could it be? Um, Get out of here, meta ghost. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, what? Do, sorry. Uh, oh, on, yeah. It was Little Bellinor we travelled from. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What can you tell me of the current state of Little Bellinor? I think it just lists like the type of people that lived there uh, when the city was founded. The um, the current ruling council members. <laughs> like... Okay, 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 okay. Let me rephrase. How is Little Bellinor defend uh, standing up towards the uh, the invasion? Which invasion? Which ones are there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, I know that, but now I'm wondering because I'm like, how many? Uh, is there other ones that we don't know about? The gift of the boat. Yeah, the sky. Bone snatchers. The uh, the chads. The hollow. Hey. Hollow von Run <laughs> says. There are currently two invasions in progress as far as King Von Rune can tell. The first, and it gives you the date that corresponds to like, you know, mm. like a year ago or whatever. Um, a year and that, that was a Gith one, wasn't it? Uh, and it says, that specifically says, these creatures have been identified as Gith. And they Just. also seem to be having a civil war. Oh, oh, okay. And then it says the mm. second invasion. It gives you the date. I am, um, which was obviously like what a month and a bit ago. I am um, when the ship overhead mm -hmm. appeared. I am, um, and they say this invading force has a different signature to them that differentiates them from the Gith. More information is currently unavailable. But little Bellinor still stands. And then the uh, the image, like, it's maybe the the first time it looks like it's got any kind of like body language to it, I guess. And it says, "But who stands in little Bellinor?" More information. Is yet unavailable. I'll just be like, mm -hmm. serious kind of look falls over Alvin's face as he looks down <laughs> on the ground and just goes, mm. Roll perception for me as well. When you're mm -hmm. looking down on the ground. Boop, boop. Like a dry. snake pops out of the ground and bites your leg. You become a snake and fall into the ground. <laughs> Let me know when you're back, Scott. You yep. are the ground. Yep, I'm back, sorry. Scott, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you look down and you you see on the, the floor the conversation that you've been having is being like written onto the floor mm. and you realise that it's a giant page you're standing on. Hence like the discoloration of the parchment. I would just like look back up, like how does this book work? Clarify. Well how is it that instead of opening up pages and reading, I have came into the book and I am talking to yourself. You opened the book. I am what is inside of the book. 
how would one recreate such a book? Study. I, I have studied many things. Never have I came across dimensions in a book. It then um, takes like maybe about 10 seconds of silence and it says creating a pocket dimension involves folding space and then goes off in this big spiel about mm. how to create a pocket yep. dimension. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Could I get that in writing? <laughs> Is your memory insufficient? I just want to make sure I get it right when I try to, if I ever want to make, recreate it. The construction of such a tool would be dangerous for someone of your skill level if your memory proves to fail you. Uh, does this book have a print? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a Wi-Fi printer, so you know how reliable those are. Uh, <laughs> you need to update the drivers. <laughs> I just be like, okay. One last thing. There, there was a holding cell that we were placed into at the bottom of the walkway up to the castle. There was a kind of invisible force field thing, which appeared to use runes or something. What made that work? Just like look on with anticipation and excitement. The Magic. rune wall technology is restricted content. God damn it, Ryan. <laughs> um, I'll be like, who knows? how that technology works. That technology was designed by King Richter von Rune. Hmm. It like start it like goes across my face like my face, it's that kind of look of that guy is clearly a lot smarter or not like more intelligent than he lets on to be. I'll be like he and the, the hologram, as it were, says, The modesty of King Richter von Rune knows no bounds. Well, it seems that me and yourself have much to talk about. How do I get out of this book? You simply leave. You're like, hmm, simple as that, eh? And I turn around and walk away. Yeah, and I think you just see, like, the thing that you see is, like, your kind of face lifting up as if you've had that kind of, like, a blackout due to, like, low blood pressure. And that you just see your hand closing the book pages over. Oh, I just look down. How big is the book? Probably about half the size of you. So it's a really big book. Damn it. Um, I guess a big talk. Okay, I shall head back out to find the librarian. Oh, did you want to take the book with you? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you can try and take it if you want. It is just a book I, on a pedestal. I, I am not going to open up that can of worms. So, so in this game, you're not going to steal books from the king's library, but in the other game you're in, you're happy to let people steal books from the king's library. Okay. Oh, in the other game, I'll quite. Ha I'm, I'm, I'm just edging to test out my new sword in the other game, right? Mm, I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, can I hit this with it? So, what does um, Alvin do then? You gonna try and take the book or you gonna leave? Nah, I'm gonna leave the book. Cool. So yeah, you leave that little room. I, you're just like again in a random corridor you follow it back the way you came and at the front desk you see Jezebel she smiles and goes did you get everything you need? I was like 
I got more than I need. Thank you very much. Happy to um, help. She smiles. Would I be able to come back later to uh, use the book again? Oh, we're open all the time. Please do come back. She just smiles really brightly. I I shall. Would you like anything when I return? Oh no, that's so kind of you. But thank you. Okay. Um, I need to get back to the castle. What's the quickest way for me to do so? She like pulls like a face like, what, what do you mean? And then she says, you, you lost the castle? No, I just need to get there. Is there a quicker way than walking or? Uh, can, can you fly? I was just kind of like flap my arms. I'm like, sounds like not. Well, I'd say stick with walking for now. And she just kind of laughs a bit to herself. Oh, well, off I go. Goodbye, librarian lady. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And I just like storm out and head towards the castle. Sure, yeah. Uh, where do we find Cognac and Fleabite at this moment? That is a good question. Right? So... Not particularly close to Mystics and... Whatever. Yes, I was going to say, I think you have moved away from there swiftly. Um, mystics and Miscellanery. Miscellany, yeah. <laughs> is there a chance that the tavern in which everyone is at is along the way to which we have to go to get back to the where the meth man is. So the your lodgings are before the tavern, but there's nothing to say you just couldn't have walked back to your lodgings, seen that there was nobody there, and then continued towards the shops to see if you could meet people, and then find said tavern, because you could look through yeah. a window and see an elephant. Seems reasonable, right? Yeah. Very reasonable. If you just want to do that, flea bite. That's why I'm after. Yep, I'm just I'm clinging on to the back of. Yep, cool. Back. Yep, just a strange ticking noise, I guess, from flea bite's pocket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I have uh, equipped my cloaks um, once we got there, just before we went back out. So we noticed there was nobody there, and I'm like, I'm going to put these on. Then we. Sure. Set up. Um, yeah, why not? Um, what are you making the uh, the fancy cloak look like? It can look like so, anything, really. There's I, the the cloak that billows is underneath, mm -hmm. and I'm wearing the multicolored cloak on top of it. So when the billowed cloak billows, the other one billows with it, and it like changes colors as I desire. And then it just looks really nice, pretty. The um, problem is you've got a rat hanging off your back, so it's probably only going to half billow. <laughs> <laughs> half billow is more than enough. Yeah, okay, so you half billow your way to this tavern, uh, which is the absent fiddler. Um, the below. Or the absent um, fiddle, uh, sorry. The absent fiddle. Um, and yeah, you're walking, and then you stop, and you look, and you see Lauda, and then eventually you see like uh, Adair and Thea. Inside. He's hidden, I guess. Yep. Everything um, else obviously sat there with their newfound. This is maybe roughly about the same time as a. Uh, you get obviously the the cutscene of that guy being like teased by the owner, right? Um. Um. Would I, from where I'm sitting, would I notice? Uh, I mean. Cognac. I'm, I'm going to assume I would notice something. I don't think it's difficult. difficult. I think the door opens and maybe that's enough to turn yeah. your head, right? If, so, yeah. I would lift my, I would raise my hand to gesture, like, yeah, Oi, over here, right. here mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, it's them. <laughs> I right. love, look, you look in the room, it's like, ah, it's them. And it cuts to a shot of, like, a wide shot of the room. And it's at the very left hand side an elephant, a blue man, and the woman wearing broken theatre masks. And everybody <laughs> else is human. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's them. It's Asper. He sounded disappointed to me. <laughs> I Maybe I was. The new people. <laughs> Thing is, though, like Cognac, despite adoring to buy a backpack wrap, 
um, the you know is wearing a glorious cloak. <laughs> um. Oh wait, can um, I forgot your name? Sorry, uh, Fleabite be like? Does the cloak have a hood that Fleabite could just be chilling in, like a hammock? I don't think Fleabite's that small, but I guess the cloak could Damn have it. a hood that big. I guess it's just gonna probably choke the turtle. That's all. I like to imagine that the one that billows has a hood, but when it billows, it like billows off my head. So it's like not quite useful. Oh yeah, it's totally useless, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew hoods caught the wind? Damn. <laughs> yeah. And I got this for less than the fine wine. <laughs> did, did you though? Because I feel like worth it. I feel like your magic gloves were probably worth more than the fine wine. But yeah, okay. Not to me. Again, again, yeah, sure. Like value for value. Yep. I have the beholder and such. Mm. Mm. Just a literal term mm. in this game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to think that that's what I I of the beholder meant. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is. Like yeah. nobody's told me otherwise. Uh, but yeah, so you just join them, I guess. Um, at the table. I'm assuming well, Fleabite gets I imagine we see the three big pictures and we're like, mm-hmm. ah, they're expecting us? But only three glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I guess Fleabite would scamper over to um, Lyoda and. Hey, nothing, thing, thing. Here, take. Uh, crash for S and he just passes you one of the um, earth elemental pieces like expecting you to like crush it up I just do a couple of lines on the table I'm sure no one's gonna notice that <laughs> <laughs> I mean everybody's um, definitely looking at your table right I'm just gonna put that in there. Yeah. A, a turtle <laughs> and <laughs> a rat on his back and the turtle looks like a f- glorious cloak <laughs> It's changing colour constantly. <laughs> and the rat is now is now standing on the table. Mm-hmm. I get, uh, <laughs> want to do lines. <laughs> I, I guess I, I'm a couple of glasses down. I'm just like, ah, oh, screw it. I put it on the table and just bash it. Yeah. Hey, do you want to give me a, a strength check? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds reminiscent of another campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I'm not as strong in this one. Just a flat strength, yeah? Just flat strength, yeah. Yeah, you crush it easily, yeah. Okay, the table's still intact. So there is a tiny pulse of, like, greenish light when you break the stone. No, no, it wasn't the stone stone, it was just... Oh, right. Yeah. It was an earth elemental. Yeah. Ah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. And uh, when you do that, the table itself, Lyra... Uh, where like you like stamp onto it to break it up, mm-hmm. um, there's that kind of like tiny green light mist um, that kind of like escapes the stone as you break it up, and there's just like rubble left over. Can we immediately just go in and start snorting there's, as um, much of the, the green mist and the rubble remaining? Sure. Yeah. Um, I guess like as Fleabite like dives in and just like snorts a lot of it, um, like. What do you do after you've started at Fleabite? Besides rolling me a con save? Yeah, I was going to say. Does that depend on my... <laughs> um, I didn't see that either. You pass out and fall off the table. Um, yeah, that, that's worth it. <laughs> um, but, Lyoda, you, you stare at where like the rock had been crushed, uh, and it's covered in like a light moss. All right. Can I attempt to catch Fleabite, but rather than like the cloak helping me, it billows and I trip over it. Uh, I mean, no, because you need to choose when the cloak billows, right? So unless you're just <laughs> constantly saying, I wish to billow while rescuing, <laughs> like, I mean, I think it's just... Well, maybe I'm not used to it yet, I so think it's like... The way I look at it, right, so the table, assuming, let's, let's do it, so if that's the table, right, and then you've got like Adair, Thea, Lauda, and then you walk up to the table, Fleabite jumps on the table and then falls off. You've got a table in the way. That's how I view it. Right? So, 
This is where Fleabag oh. now resides. <laughs> Can I inspect <laughs> the moss growing on the table now? Sure, yeah. So, I was going to say, does anyone, like, want to investigate the green glow when the rock broke? Does anyone have, like, good arcana kind of stuff? Because I do not. But I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm going to... I have one arcana. Either investigation or arcana. I don't really know which. So, either one. the only thing left, though, is the moss. Okay. Too late. I, I knew I should have when it first happened. And I feel like... Fleet, yeah, I was going to say, Fleabite inhaled it too quickly, I feel, um, for other people to really get a view of it. Yeah. Um, Green glow, his nose is straight in there. Cool. Yep. Seems to be. Um, but yeah. Oh. Um, also, like, yeah, there's moss now, where there wasn't before. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a nature roll? I was going to say nature, yeah. Do nature if you want, yeah. Well, can I help some with nature? Because I have a zero to nature. So, you know, I know nothing about nature. He's rolled anyway. But he's what he learns is probably what he would have learned with your help anyway, which is that, it's yeah. moss, and that means probably up is north, though. <laughs> I think that <laughs> when I... Uh, when I realise it's just moss, I would then just carry on finishing my glass of wine yeah. and pouring in the next one. It's not a lot, it's just weird that it's there now, right? Yeah. Um, I would like to look around the room to how the people are reacting to our friends coming in, <laughs> cracking a rock and our rat friend falling on the ground, killed. I think the table next to you is just annoyed that this billowing cloak is flapping on them. <laughs> <laughs> They've probably like shimmied their table seats round. Like, uh, so they're they not... made that annoying scratching noise against the floor mm -hmm. as they move away. Oh yeah, definitely. Just because there's a stupid billowing cloak. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing in this situation. <laughs> but yeah. What's everybody else up to then? Besides staring at some moss. <laughs> I love that none of the parties even remember Totally surprised that the rat jumped on the table and just KO'd fell off, just splat on the floor. <laughs> it's fine. Check on your Here we go again. <laughs> um, Thea's. Do you know what she's? Um, I don't. I don't know how much she's got through yet, but she's drinking quite a lot, and she's looking at her mask, and I think occasionally like welling up a bit. Let's just do, um, why don't you do a wee concept well, and we'll see the, how, how, how well you're holding out when the old being drunk. Yeah, sure. When Thea starts to Literally swell up, I'll, I'll rest my hand on her shoulder just as in a, you know, a consoling way. Just a nice gesture. I think you're holding up pretty okay. You're, you're able to put away your, your booze. So. Uh, Ryan. Mm -hmm, that's me. Just, I think I was sort of uh, intending on this to be the first time that Lloyd has touched alcohol since being exiled from Paris. Mm hmm. Um, so just take that into consideration when you, you consider how much I'm drinking. How much have you drank so far? Uh, I'm on probably about halfway through my third glass. Okay. I'll You're getting whitey all over us, aren't you? Who's yeah. to say it hasn't already? I think you're probably okay for now, but I think maybe there's going to be like a con save in a couple of glasses time, right? I think if you, if you keep drinking, because it's probably worse when you get to the cheaper stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. It always is. Gut rot. Um. Well, now that Cognac is back at the table, our flea bites down. But um, I, I dare would turn to Cognac and be, ah, so how did it go back at the, I want to say barracks. What was it probably Our is? Hotel suite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just had like a, a villa. Ooh, was it as fancy as that? Yeah, you were put up in like. Proper villa. So, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have been shopping. I should be chilled out at a villa. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, Cognac. How things go back at the villa? Did you get much out of that robot guard thing? Uh, um, well, for all its magicalness, it's... Uh... Not a cloak of many colors, eh? Uh -huh. I see what you did there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I, uh, I, I, li- I like the new look. I do. Mm, glad someone noticed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we didn't get anything out of that stupid robot thing, man, in a box. Um, but uh, we did get invited to dinner, though we don't know oh. the time. Who by? It's with the king. The King Lord Mightiness thing. Yes, his, yeah. his jiveness. I okay. that mention, I would uh, sort of grunt and down the rest of the drink. Mm-hmm. And then maybe. Order. Sort of... Hold on. Don't get too drunk if we're going to dinner tonight. I'm not going to dinner. And I um, gesture over to Thea, maybe thinking about taking one of the pictures, but waiting for her confirmation first. What's Thea up to? Wait, the is, um, Thea, I think, again, Thea's like, I think she's kind of like cradling, uh, like holding in one hand, like keep, she has a hand on one of the pictures and she's got the other hand sort of like cradling the the, the mask and she's kind of like staring into it um, and as she kind of like, maybe at this point she's probably drinking from the picture. Mm-hmm. Just for a straw. No, no, no. <laughs> so I thought you said that she's drinking from a picture. I'm like, Who the, what kind of fucked up magic is that? She's drinking from a picture. So it's the, the start of my new, uh, my new emotional album. <laughs> she's drinking from a picture. Also, you um, I totally agree, says the man that was just in a book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, um, maybe yeah, maybe she's drinking from the picture at this point, and um, I think um, occasionally she'll just like put the picture down and like wipe wipe her face a bit, pick up the picture, and then just maybe put the mask like on the table, stare at it for a bit, and then I think she pulls out her knife and starts like on one side scratching in next to the mouth, a little like uplift into a little smile. Mm-hmm. And then on the other side, uh, Franny scratch. And I think she just sits and does that for for a while. Okay, so yeah, I think Holiday, you, you probably just stare at her, and she's not even like looking at you. So I guess you could just take it, and she won't notice because there is three of them. I would slowly take it just to see if she does notice, and then eventually just have it in my hand. And as Theo was doing, slowly just drinking from the pitcher now. So we've been in here, what, half an hour? Yeah, I'm still probably in the first glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I did leave you another glass of the good stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Wait. You've been, you've been left um, a glass, but the flea bite's like kaled on the floor next to you. <laughs> yeah, my two friend, two of my party are down in it. Uh, flea bite came in, passed out instantly, <laughs> can he handle his stuff? Uh, Cognac's just like, look at my cloak. <laughs> and, and his undercloak. Yeah. And his undercloak. I do apologize. Amazing. <laughs> you can only look at it if you're nice to me. My undercloak. It's a, it is my undercloak. Remember. I think this might be the only point ever that a deer would go. Where's Alvin? I, I kind of need him. <laughs> I think at that point, um, Theo would probably start like muttering. You know, just maybe talking to herself about how she's going to find that witchy bitch and. Ooh. Get rid of him. Would I be able to understand what you're saying, or is it too quiet? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think she'd. Well, you just roll perception. Trying to hide it from say, yeah. if, if it's quiet, roll perception. And I think a ten or higher is good enough, right? Like that's an average. Yeah. Um, she's not trying to hide it. Yeah. So you probably hear her. She's like, oh, that which bitch? I shall destroy. Shit, removing everything this precious fucking bitch I'll get and, you know, she'll burn yes yes she'll burn mm. and that's that's like while she's like scoring like the smiley part into her mask and then you know as she moves on to like the frowny side she's like and how dare she take it away from me it's just how am I supposed to keep it in control I can't just ah. and you know okay. yeah so I think that um that's Oh, it's a square. That's not what I meant. 
So this is the table. It's <laughs> not a square. Here, here, here. <laughs> uh, I'm here. Um, three lights here on the floor, right? Um, I think like maybe there's another chair here. So, for that, let's um. So yeah, so table, you've got a dare. Right, let's just do mm. a for a dare. You've got Wait. flea bite on the ground. I, I just imagine you were sat across from there. I yeah. imagine Theo was sat here, and then Cognax walked up and probably sat there. Um, so I assume there'd be one more chair, and it's probably there. Okay. Ours that one's reserved really really for me. Yep. If there's a reasonable way for me to scuttle around the table and sit next to Theo. I don't see why not, yeah. You could just sit yeah, between Theo and just, Cognac. Uh, yeah. Fight the balloon cloak to get back. past it. <laughs> <laughs> No, because it's going to go clockwise, not anti-clockwise. Um, <gasps> anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. Anti-clockwise, yeah. Yeah. So I think right, that I would, just, uh, mm -hmm. just out of my own interest, where's the bar in retrospect to this? So the oh. door in would be like here, right? Okay. To go in, and then the bar is like mm -hmm. over this die region. That's right. how I had it in my head, yeah. so that's good. Yeah. I, that, I don't have to readjust my I'm brain. glad that by not actually <laughs> describing any of that, you got that. Which was no good. I had the, <laughs> yeah, I, like the only thing I had different was the seating order, but I don't care about that. So okay. fine. And I had it pretty much exactly as I had, including the seating order. So yeah, not bad. Uh, I also chose the left side of the entrance door. Yeah, these are welcome. Yeah. Um, so I would scout around. Are there any windows? Yes, um, there's a window on the wall with the door, like here, because um, that is right, how so Cognac and Fleabite spotted the giant so elephants. Cool. Moo. <laughs> yes, I'd, I'd sort of <laughs> shift around the table and uh, sit next to Thea and uh, just say, I can't help but notice that uh, somebody may have wronged you. Wronged me? Wronged me? And I think she'd pick up the mask and just like hold it up to Leo's face and says, this goes further than wronged. <laughs> I, I nod and I say, I agree. I, uh, to myself, I'm in some mood for possibly some vengeance. Vengeance. Vengeance doesn't cover what I am going to do to this witchy witch woman. <laughs> witchy B word. Uh, I smile and give a slight chuckle and say, yes, indeed. I don't think you understand. Ryan, while they're doing this, can I sort of, because Fleabite's right next to me and in the eye of everyone, can I sort of either just with my leg slide him under the table? Oh, I was so waiting for someone to do that. I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Greg, 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 I can't really hear you. What are you doing? Basically, I'm trying to hide flea bite from the general public view, so I'm going to slide him under the table. Just be like, nothing to see here. Uh, if it we helps, take though, our unconscious like, friend. That's like the kind of the back of the place. So you are kind of in the corner near, near the window. Oh, yeah, but it's still. I, oh, yeah, like the end of sitting here, we'd be able to see. Um, yeah, but yeah. Like, you know, with a backpack, you'd put your backpack under the table. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to so, put Flea so Bite. We're, we're, it was we're, out. Instead of your backpack, you're just putting. The Rat Pack, back. yeah. Yeah, the Rat Pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you, um, yeah, you can just like. Maneuver him under the table, I guess. Um, cool, I will do that then. Just to yeah. you, roll <laughs> perceptions for me. I was just about to say. <laughs> was that everyone? No, you. Oh me, damn. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. Why is that not scrolling? Hold on. Bear with me. No worries. Rawr. Oh, there we go. Ah, bar. Uh, perceptions. Good dish. Scott, uh, my lord! You hear a ticking Whoa. coming from a flea bite. Oh my god, he's the bomb! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, am I alarmed by this ticking? You tell me. <laughs> would you be alarmed at hearing ticking from the rat? I would quickly turn to the others at the table and say, "What? Why is he ticking?" And I think on that note, we switch to Elvin. <laughs> <laughs> this is my time to shine, boys. Right, so you said you wanted to head towards the castle. Yep. Cool, yep. So you get to the guardhouse, um, mm -hmm. and there are, like, there's like, the door is there. Do you just, like, open it and walk in? Yeah, don't see why not. 
yep, so you walk in, um, and then there are like several of the, the rune guard standing. I will just kind of walk up to them and be like, Good evening, guardy friends. Um, is, has the king summoned for us yet? And then one of the, uh, the guards kind of turns and looks down towards you and says, It is not yet the evening, and your dinner is scheduled for this evening. Somebody will arrive at your villa to escort you to the castle. Hmm. Do you wish to contact the king sooner? I have things I wish to speak with him in private, but I don't know how busy the king is. If he has time to see me. There's like no response. Just this blinking metal man. And I would just be like, hmm. Clearly, he is not um, responding because I have not been dramatic enough. So I'll go. Who's still like, talking to him? Like, no, no, this this is like in in my mind, like right, in okay. Alvin's mind. This is what, like I said, he's like he's thinking to himself. It's like clearly, I've, he's not responded because I am not being dramatic enough. Maybe to get he my point across. Ask the question, because obviously, because I am small, because I am small, I think that people might miss and like not catch me as well. So therefore, if I'm being dr more dramatic, then it will draw people's attention. Therefore, I would just go. Um, yes, I seek an audience with the king post haste. Noted. Would you like to wait for a response? I cannot guarantee the time frame. Um, yeah, I can wait. I will wait right here. And then the, uh, the mailman says, if you would like to wait over here, we have seating available. Seating is a excellent choice. I shall go and seat right now. And I go and, you know, sit my arse down. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Done. And uh, I think I'd just kind of like sit there and just be like spinning the pinwheel in my uh, lapel coat, uh, mm -hmm. button bit. I'm just having fun with that. Uh, I've also added Jezebel to the NPC list for everybody, by the way. Um, cool. I, oh, added... I was going to wait for Scotty to do that. No, I've added it because, let's face it, he'll have forgot about her again. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's why she didn't ask him for anything, because she'd just have been disappointed if she did. Um... <gasps> this like no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, the... Yeah, the... the machine kind of shows you where to sit, I guess. And... Yeah, some time passes. Um, this lets obviously Alvin kind of catch up in the timeline towards obviously everybody else, which is nice. Um, after some time passes, I... there is a. It's like a heat wave, Alvin. Right. There's like a kind of shimmer of heat in the room. Um, doesn't feel like the temperature has changed at all, though. And then, Are the guards still there? Yeah, they're all still right, standing. Okay. Like they, do, like they don't move, right? They're just like okay. standing within this kind of. It's like a mini room, almost like a vestibule, but a castle's vestibule to get past the gatehouse, right? Um, so it's almost like a reception area for the gate to get through the gate to get up to the path to go all the way up to the castle, and um, this kind of like heat shimmer appears everywhere. And mm -hmm. you see this woman walk in. Um, she seems to be the source of this, like, shimmer. Um, mm. She kind of turns to you. And she just kind of smiles um, at you. And kind of, like, waves with her hand. Um, like, kind of limp-wristedly. Uh, kind of waves at you. And, uh, I'll, uh, sorry, um, in response to that, I'll just kind of put on my kind of 
like you know just like dwarven appeal like that kind of hey she's checking me out and i'll just give a big grin and like kind of wave back at her and just be like hi there you make no sound when you go and say hi there okay so i go to wave and i say yeah and i'm just like hmm but i'm like i kind of like i maybe get to like the high there when i realize i'm kind of like the look of confusion comes across my face and then i'm just like try like trying to speak just by going words but yeah so you see her walk past wave mm. uh, you you say hi there but muted and then um, she kind of like waves, smiles, very toothy, sparkly grin that she's got going on. And then uh, she just carries on, walks past all the guards and walks through the gatehouse door without it opening. Like it just ripples, like it's made of mm. waves as well. And she kind of walks through that. Can I stand up? Yeah. And then like immediately as like you exhale, you hear yourself exhale and we take our break there. You penis! So, uh, <laughs> so I will see you every day in 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, see you in a bit. Mocky day.